748, you're watching BT Vancouver. Well, in most Canadian cities, and most cities across North America, police respond to wellness calls. Armed officers are the first ones on scene, and as we've seen in recent weeks, it sometimes doesn't end well. But in Eugene, Oregon, there's another option called CAHOOTS, a community-based crisis intervention service that pairs police with mental health specialists. Joining us now is Ben Brubaker, a crisis worker from CAHOOTS. Hi, good morning. Thanks for joining us from Eugene, Oregon. That's where you are? Yep, that's where I am. Good morning. So can you give us an example of what you do on the job? What does a day in a life look like? Um, a day in life looks like getting up uh, sometimes at five in the morning, sometimes at midnight because uh, we run 24 uh, seven. Folks uh, go get their radios on because we're tied into the police non-emergency system. Uh, we start receiving calls through the dispatch line uh, either directly from individuals requesting help for themselves or their friends or family um, or uh, through the police requesting us to come and assist with a situation that they feel like is more behavioral health uh, in, in uh, content. Um, and then from there, it's very, very varied. It can be dealing with uh, folks who are intoxicated out in public. It could be doing family mediation, doing individually uh, counseling with somebody who might be suicidal. Um, and basically helping those folks on the scene to de-escalate and hopefully connect them up with services and if necessary, transport them to a, a higher level of care or to a service that might be able to assist them more. So you're not dressed like an officer and you're not armed? No, we're not armed and we wear a lot of times a hoodie and a, and a pair of jeans. So what if someone is armed? You know, we've had a few incidents here in Canada recently, one in Toronto where a man with uh, schizophrenia was shot dead by police, as well as a young woman from B.C. who was in New Brunswick. Uh, both times police were responding to wellness calls. Police claimed that these two people had a knife on them. Now, would you go with an officer if the dispatcher reported that person was armed? Uh, sometimes we'll go with an officer, sometimes we'll stage while they clear a scene. Uh, we work really hard with our dispatch, though, to try to open up as many calls as we can um, and feel pretty comfortable going into any number of situations um, and have had a good track record of safety so far and, and well, after 30 years. So, um, but yeah, when, when there is an armed subject, the police will sometimes respond first just to clear the scene, but they also know that we're standing nearby ready to assist. So you said this program has been going on for 30 years. Why was it started? And can you just tell us a little bit more about it? Sure. Whitebird Clinic's been around since 1969. Basically, a group of people got together and, and realized that there was a lot of folks who felt alienated and disenfranchised from mainstream institutions and weren't seeking help when they really needed it. And so Whitebird Clinic opened up a 24-7 walk-in line crisis center to just be human beings that could meet other human beings where they're at and provide assistance uh, in, a kind of not, in, a, in a house, in a non-institutional kind of uh, format. Um, Cahoots grew kind of out of that similar kind of mindset and model um, and was able to integrate with public safety uh, back in 88, 89. Uh, as a way of helping to deal with behavioral health crises, uh, things that the police and our law enforcement partners are really across the country, across the world, um, are reporting they're overwhelmed by, that they're tired of dealing, being the de facto mental health response, dealing with the brokennesses of our system. And and one, and they, the line staff here especially uh, sing our praises and are really happy that we're there to assist them with things that they don't feel like are really the, the job, so to speak, of law enforcement. All right, Ben, unfortunately, we are out of time this morning. I feel like I could talk to you for another 30 minutes, uh, but thank you so much again for joining us this morning um, and yep. all the best to you. Well, thank you for helping spread the word. All right, that is Bren, Ben Brubaker. He is with an organization called Cahoots. They are funded by the police. And last month, city councils in Vancouver and Toronto approved similar motions to look at community-based responses that aren't led by police to certain calls. Now, both of them experienced reference Cahoots as a model. We'll post this interview online. We're going to take a break. More BT coming up. Stay with us.